so I'm getting ready to uh, mount this cabinet that I built to the top of this toolbox and it seems to me the easiest way to do this or maybe not the easiest but the best is to use what they call a rib nut and a lot of people haven't actually heard of rib nuts they're pretty popular in aviation and what they're for is to allow you to install a uh, thread with a decent grip range in a piece of thin sheet metal so this rib nut that I'm using here is a 716 uh, no 5 sixteenths by 18 and and I'll show you how, how it is installed and how it's how it looks whenever it's installed uh, they, they work great uh, obviously if you had a thin piece of sheet metal like this um, other than shooting a uh, sheet metal screw into it or putting a nut on the back side which is obviously a, 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 a you know probably the optimum way to do it the problem is and where these things really come in you know and shine is when you don't have access to the back side of uh, you know a, a sheet metal uh, project or uh, you know just inaccessibility or you want permanent threads installed uh, in a sheet metal you know once this is installed it holds itself so you can you can screw a uh, bolt in and out without having to put a wrench on the back side of this and so basically to give you an idea I'm wanting to mount this vise to the corner of this toolbox and I also want this cabinet that I've built mounted to this toolbox to make sure that you know it never uh, falls one way or the other so I'm going to put a, a uh, bolt in each corner of this cabinet and I'm going to bolt this vise down and I'm going to and whenever you get up underneath here you don't have access there's a channel right here in the corner like a piece of square tubing that runs you know runs along uh, the inside of this and you don't have access to uh, to be able to to get to get these two outermost bolts there's no way to get to the back side of those you can on these two um, but since I'm going to be putting rib nuts in I'm just going to install four rib nuts and it's going to be a done deal and same with the other three corners and I'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you They're, they make a tool this is what the tool looks like uh, that that installs these and they, you don't have to have this tool um, you know if you're only going to want to put a you know handful of these in and be done with it and never use it again you can actually get by with using a bolt and a nut um, but this has got a, a uh, thrust bearing so that whenever you're tightening it down it uh, it'll pull this nice and tight and I'll, I'll put this in I've already got this piece of sheet metal to show you how this thing installs um, like I said this is a 5 16 by 18 thread for you know for a 5 16 by 18 bolt you've got to get the rib nut that is for whatever size bolt you're going to be installing of course the hole that you drill is going to be bigger than the 5 16 bolt in this case this particular rib nut takes about a 7 16 drill bit so I've got a 7 16 hole drilled in this piece of sheet metal the rib nut just drops down inside it like that and it's going to and the rib nuts are designed to have a certain grip range this particular rib nut they make four different lengths depending on how thick of a piece of sheet metal you're going to install this in um, and I can't remember what the range was for this but it, it tells you a certain you know a minimum and a maximum thickness of sheet metal uh, for each individual rib nut so I'm going to go ahead and install uh, uh, set the camera up I'll get the tool set up and we'll go through the procedure and I'll show you what this thing looks like whenever it's installed let me get set up and I'll be right back okay so I've got the rib nut mounted up in this piece of sheet metal that's clamped in the vise
You're going to screw the tool in. Make sure you grab all the threads. Snug that up. Let me get the. Uh, I'm going to back it up with an Allen and a wrench. And you just turn the nut on the tool and it will pull those threads up. And you can kind of see that pulls it up tight. And you know whenever you're getting close because you'll start feeling a lot of resistance like right there. Break it loose. Now you've got a nice tight permanent thread in a thin piece of sheet metal with enough gripping length to where you can tighten a, a bolt up and not pull through the uh, sheet metal. And you don't have to have access to the back of this. If this was a solid piece of sheet metal, I did not have to have access to the back of this for this to work. So that's the beauty of a rib nut. It's permanently installed. I say permanently. I mean, you can drill these out. They're easy. If, if you had to take it out, you can drill it, remove it. Um, but it's considered a permanent, you know, uh, insert to where now you can screw a bolt in on this side of a piece of sheet metal. And if you need to take the bolt out, you take it out and you don't have to back it up with a wrench. So very handy. Uh, little item to have you can order these Amazon or eBay um, and same with the tool you can get the tool you got to get the tool with the proper thread for that rib nut um, and like I say if you don't want to buy the tool you can you can make your own just using a nut and a uh, uh, couple washers a nut and a bolt and you can you can accomplish the same thing anyway I'm gonna get this cabinet drilled up and get the rib nuts uh, installed and uh, I'll come back and show you show you the finished product just to give you a closer view hopefully you can see how how that just you know it deforms that metal and those little serrations that's in that rib nut that's what grips into the hole and helps prevent it from spinning whenever you're tightening tightening up your your bolt it just sandwiches it in there nice and tight very nice Anyway, let me get this uh, drilled up. Okay, so we're going to install. This is the second one I'm installing. I installed the one on the other corner. But, so I've got it all screwed on. Drop it down in the hole. next one That 
that's how fast you can get them in. permanent threads. I'll go ahead and get that last one in and I'm going to have to do the two back corners and then uh, once I get everything pretty much bolted down, well I've still got to make the three bolts so I'll do that here in a little bit. I'll show you how to, I'll do another video on making the special bolts. Okay, got the four um, rib nuts in the corner here for the vise. The vise is all bolted down nice and tight. I'm going to make the uh, I got the I got four cap screws just in the corners here right now, and uh, about to make the special bolts that's going to go in here. So uh, let me get all set up, and we'll make the first bolt. Okay, completely done. Four bolts in the vise. There's the way the uh, bolts turned out. Just kind of a flush fit uh, in all four corners that way I can still slide stuff across it if I need to um, not going to interfere with anything they'll, they'll definitely do the job of holding down this wooden cabinet anyway that's about all I got